Assalamualaikum. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Why you reacts? Okay, so today is a requested video by Men of a Goodwill. Uh, this video was requested quite a while back, and I completely overlooked it. So I'm finally reacting to it. And the video is Lady of Heaven trailer. Let's go. Assalamualaikum. Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Incitement. Before we begin with the video, I would like to seek your kind hearts to help 10-year-old girl named Medina Zahra. She has cerebral palsy, which makes it difficult for her to go to school and receive education. Her family is struggling and she is in need of a secure future. So if you would like to make a contribution, please click the link in the description box below. God, I got goosebumps guys so this is a story about Fatima the daughter of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam oh my god is this gonna is it out yet no it's not but it says Lady of Heaven trailer 2022 epic action movie when is it gonna be out the untold story Angels, oh my god, these bumps. Is the spreading of peace in the world? Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. The Lady of Heaven. <gasps> oh my god. 3rd June. Oh wait, oh it's only in UK cinemas. 3rd June. Mm. Oh my god, that was so good. Okay, I have mixed feelings about this, okay? Because in terms of entertainment, Islamic, like Islam itself, the stories that we have, especially with all the stories of the prophets, there's so many content that you can go and create and make a movie out of that could be so inspiring and so epic, okay? But at the same time, Islamically, we are forbidden to portray the face of the prophets and the sahabas so does that include the daughter lady fatima like are they allowed to do that no right i'm not so sure i have to check back 
my Islamic knowledge on certain things are rusty, especially history. So, because I remember back then I did a theater, um, Sirah Junjungan at Istana Budaya. I was just an extra. And to portray the Prophet and uh, his disciples, they had to cover them, like they had to cover the actors um, and just show like a shadow, you know, um, to portray the prophet and the disciples because we're not allowed to show any kind of face. So I'm curious to how they're going to do this. Is it just the voice? And I remember back then there was a movie that I watched called The Messenger, I think. And they portrayed the prophet as like the camera is actually like in the perspective of the prophet because they're not allowed to show the face of the prophet you're not supposed to have any uh, representation of what the prophet looked like um so i'm curious and just now there was like that scene with the angels like it's exciting like i would love to see this but at the same time like are we allowed to do this there's this contradiction you know what i mean but it looks so good guys uh. and i can see that there's a hint of like women empowerment like the rise of fatima and her leadership after her father died and how she's going to face those struggles and challenges because during that time i'm sure it was not easy and it's not like how it is today and i hope if they ever show this it's like people understand that islam is not a misogynistic religion at all it's just that women have their own rights men have their own rights and they don't intertwine but they're both equal in their own right and the thing is, even way before the West was promoting, you know, women's rights or whatever, Islam had it, like, way before. Way, way, way before. It's just so unfortunate that Muslims or Islam is so highly misrepresented in the world stage because of the western media monopolizing the world media but now we have a lot of social media that's breaking that barrier and i hope people are now starting to see the truth and maybe this movie in the uk will kind of distort the rednecks <laughs> and make them understand what Islam is and what women is really like in Islam and that, for example, even the hijab is not an oppression. It's a choice. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the reaction. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!